Is this thing on? Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Flower Tangent by Deborah. This is a special Cinco de Mayo edition, and I'm going to do something super fun. I got a really cool container I'm excited to tell you about. I have flowers in my yard that I'm going to use. So I thought I would start by showing you, this is my system, this is where all the magic happens. This is where I do all my videos. Does it look familiar? Check out Mr. Frog. Hi, Mr. Frog. Okay, so going from here over to the flowers I'm gonna use for my arrangement today. I have these awesome calla lilies in my yard. So I know not everyone does, but you can go buy some or you can use any calla lilies. I also have some mini calla lilies on hand that I might use as well to fill in. But these are just simple white callas and they just grow from my yard. So I'm going to cut some stems and take it over to my arrangement and show you how to put it all together. Super easy, it'll go really quickly and you can totally do it. And I think it just screams Cinco de Mayo along with the super cool container that I have. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna cut the stems pretty long because I can always cut some off if it's too long, right? Can't add stem back on. Okay, I just showed you how to cut some flowers from your... <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. I need a mariachi band. Anyone? Anyone? Hello? Anyone? Anyone available for my video? Darn it. I went downtown to the flower mart um, a few days ago and I got some cool flowers. I got some mini calla lilies, which I might use in this arrangement, but for the most part, I am going to use the beautiful, big, huge white calla lilies that I cut from a bush in my yard. I think all I'm gonna use are these big white calla lilies because look at this container, people. Look at how beautiful it is. It's so pretty and colorful and vibrant. All you need is a simple flower, I think, inside, but we'll see. I have some other calla lilies in case I need to fill in. But I loved this container. They had so many colors. When we were downtown, I couldn't decide which vase. There were so many and all different colors. And anyways, I chose this one. This is a really easy arrangement that you can put together and create a super awesome centerpiece for your Cinco de Mayo party. So lots of color in the vase. So I'm gonna keep it simple with the flowers. Maybe I'll start taller than I normally do Ooh. and see how that goes. Measure up against my container and I'm just gonna cut at the bottom. Measure and cut. Woo, so pretty. Okay, I have some yellow mini calla lilies that I got when I was downtown and I think yellow would be pretty in this too. So let's just check it out and see. Kind of cool. Add a little color to it, even though it's pretty on its own. Okay, let me try this. Look at this pretty color. Either way, you could have stopped at just the white ones, like seriously, for sure. But if you want it to be more colorful, there you go. I think sticking to the same flower is key when you have a very colorful vase or use colors that draw from the vase. You don't want busy, 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 busy. And so I wouldn't put like a bunch of different types of flowers in here, but because they're all calla lilies, different sizes, that's okay. Hmm, pretty. I'm just gonna keep going with it. Cause this was so easy. I have to uh, <laughs> spend more time doing something so the video is not done already. I'm done after two seconds. And there we go. I think one more yellow one over here. I think I'm finished people. 
go out and get some calla lilies even put them in a regular vase i think calla lilies just like i said are super reminiscent of cinco de mayo stay tuned for my mother's day video next week it's a good one you won't want to miss it hope you have an awesome cinco de mayo party with your family and friends be safe and don't eat or drink too much um who am i kidding see you next time bye for now Bye.